going to talk more about manager and the research relevance. What to do with manager? What kind of research relevance can a manager can associate with? And what kind of research should they perform? And how to distinguish different types of research? So they will be able to know when is the right type of research they should conduct. So uh, for the manager, they could be coming from very different area, from management, from the marketing, from the finance, from accounting. So manager and uh, research relevance, generally manager always involve with problems, whether it's big or small. So the thing is, we need to go through the big and small issue to make the right decision among different fields. Sometimes the manager can make a good decision, but that could be only relevant to one. So some, that's why the organization have a different department that try to work out different research area. And then when come with a managerial board, they have a different area to discuss. So in terms of management research, what could be the relevant topic that people look into? So that could be employee attitude and behavior, uh, human resource management, the impact of changing demographic and the management that could be means uh, some management practice in terms of uh, international business study. So people in a cross-border business, cross-border uh, uh, management, uh, for example, the uh, multinational company, when they dealing with a new market, they set up the subsidiary in a foreign market, they may change in demographics. For example, that uh, study has done quite a bit in the Africa or in the developing country such as uh, India. So that could be a different way of dealing with a different system. And also production uh, operation management and strategy formulation information system. So IT area, how it manage it. For the marketing part, um, that could be a different area. They look into the marketing could be a different side in terms of B2C and B2B. It depends on what's the company focus. Sometimes the company is only B2B focus. Sometimes the company have a B2B and B2C. Sometimes the company only focus on B2C area. But what could be the general marketing research that people are interested or current research that carry on doing it? It could be consumer decision making, customer satisfaction and loyalty, market segmentation, market competent, uh, competitive advantage strategy, product image, sales promotion, market channel management, new product, new service development, pricing issue. And this is uh, highly associated with uh, uh, research field in terms of uh, different area, of course. We also have accounting and finance. So for the accounting, it could be budget control system, practice and procedure, inventory costing method, Accelerate depreciation, time series behavior of quarterly earning, transfer pricing, cash recovery rate, taxation method for finance could be financial institutions. Uh, um, the optimum uh, financial ratio, merger acquisitions. The merger acquisition often look into the stock or some kind of uh, uh, final output finance part, leverage, buyout, intercorporate financing yields on the mortgage, the behavior of the stock exchange. So there are uh, different research contexts. We talk about different you know, field in terms of accounting, finance, marketing, and management. But there are also different contexts we can look in. Sometimes we will look into the marketing area, but the marketing relate to external environment. So what could be external environment? So the external environment could be economic issue. So how the current economy downturn affect the marketing purchasing for the consumer or marketing advertising, whether they whether invest so much money on advertising, political domain, so whether the marketing campaign should associate with a political issue or sometimes political decision making uh, for example, the COVID period that affects the import-export issue 
or COVID period, in the past, the sales use a conference meeting and now use a digital approach because the people are forced to be indoor, work from home. So the sales approach may be different in terms of the, the co uh, company, uh, sorry, the country regulation setting. Or sometimes the political in terms of advertisement, for example, but political side in terms of the UK and the US, the U, uh, or UK and France, sorry, UK and France. So give me an example here. When I was talking to the graphic designer in the UK, they say, yeah, we don't do this uh, advertising to show the bra in the, in the huge advertisement industry because this is so-called gender discrimination for the graphic design. We don't really promote that using woman's body as a kind of a naked close to nudity this is a disrespectful for women and that happened in certain industry like a graphic design however look into the front sometimes you can see victoria's secrets and you can see some kind of uh, people selling uh, underwear and you can see c very close to naked parts and that's a there's a kind of policy making the how the the society view the situation the kind of a promoting advertisement so for the industry they sometimes for example the graphic design they will say where is going to uh, project the audience if the audience relates to the Latin country, they may be using multiple colors because they like a color setting. When do, dealing with uh, uh, Anglo-Saxon country, they look into the structure clarity, etc., etc. So that could be to do with a, a culture perspective, and also to do with the policy, the nudity, how it can be exposed. And we can know from the uh, you know uh, Arabic country, nudity selling you know. Uh, Victoria's Secret could be different by different countries. Sometimes they could be open in some kind of uh, more ex, ex, you know, experts involved, and that could be different. So different countries have different. For example, the uh, World Cup it, it last year happened, and then happened to be they can say they originally want to sell beers, and when you send up into the country. They say, sorry, no beers, because it's, uh, beers is not okay, alcohol is not okay in uh, uh, a certain uh, Arabic country, so they can sell. So whatever they agree in terms of the contract, they may change accordingly, political perspective. Democratic and technological, sometimes we talk about technology and we talk about infrastructure. But whether we can really perform it, sometimes they will say, all right, that's uh, doing a research in terms of the um, corporate social responsibility and then start to talk about how can we save the world, reduce the carbon emission. But it happened in, in some, one country, for example, France, they're emphasizing corporate social responsibility, carbon emission, we want to save the world in France. And then looking to the same, if we are looking for the supplier that could be in developing country, they may have uh, imposed a corporate social responsibility in carbon emission. However, they may not have the same political policy in terms of what is regulation in, in terms of carbon emission is considered good or good enough for the policy of a country or policy of the organization. And also whether the manufacturer level can perform the kind of a carbon emission in terms of technology or technical domain, whether that, how it impacts, whether the, the buyer, they purchasing the material from the supplier from developing country, but whether the buyer going to invest on the manufacturing process to help the purchaser, uh, sorry, it help the supplier to upgrade the certain equipment or certain incentive to help the supplier to upgrade the system to able to provide the buyer's needs and that could be technical technological part and infrastructure level and some people looking for the competitive advantage or not so that could be another global impact related to you know for example in europe we're suffering from the brexit issue and then they become a new policy on taxation so a lot of companies are no longer easy to do purchasing from the uk or the uk seller they are no longer easy to sell to the european continent 
or some war constraint like a Ukraine and the uh, currency in Russia that's a war issue affect the price of the gas so all the uh, airport uh, the flight the petrol price increase and then cost on the consumer so that could be a different uh, a factor to affect the firm to look into their research context that research context could be um, could be depends on the uh, current situation and then therefore it affect the outcome and that research context some people look into for the crisis some people look into say the context is focused on the culture so we look into the culture element so they have a different kind of way of framing the research so when come with a research context start people start to reframe uh, framing their research context. They still also need to think about what kind of, of the business research they are looking. So it could be looking to applied research or basic, fundamental, pure research. And we, if we were looking to apply research, it's focusing on solving a decision problem by manager in a work setting so they can demand a timely solution. So applied research emphasizing on a tiny solution that currently happen in the company they are need to solve they're looking to their work they're looking for their business they're looking for the market they're looking for the finance or mer looking to the merger acquisition or joint venture situation they need to work on it and have a time pressure for it for the basic and fundamental part it's a, 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 a or you can call it a pure research it's a different thing it could be a, a, you try to generate a body of knowledge and try to comprehend the certain problem occur in the organization can be solved so we are talking more about a problem that occur in the organization is not your organization or my organization it could be applied to a lot of organization from the same industry maybe or it doesn't it can be a cross sector ideally so you can you can explain a phenomenon and then you can solve a phenomenon to tell people if that's a situation i can generalize the solution how can we work on it of course in research even we provide the generalizability we still need to go beyond so what in more detail for that so it's uh, 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 again it's a try to comprehend certain problem occur in the organization but you also understand the phenomena of the interest so try to build a theory on the research phenomena okay so the difference between the applied research is about time pressure time solution in the workplace and this workplace it could be you know constrained uh, become a context and then if it's on the pure research, which is mean we call basic or fundamental research, is a try to comprehend the problem in you know cross sectors in organizations. So like a buyers buying and selling. So buying and selling can apply to beverage, food, agriculture, you know, shipping, retailer, you know, raw material, semiconductor technology, etc, etc, etc. So it can be all kind of organizations and industries. And then what kind of phenomenon we can understand that could be a phenomenon. Like earlier, we in our last uh, uh, recording, we were talking about the social exchange. That could be a phenomenon about cost and reward. And then we can build a theory, further provide a depth of the theory and provide in that phenomenon what else can we do further so here i'm going to provide you some examples uh it's going to take you some time to read about applied research example here so applied research example for example globally cola accounts for more than 50 of all soda sold the challenge for 187 billion of drink industry is giving consumer in developed market the sugary taste they want without giving them the mouthful or carry they don't. So concern about obesity and health have led to nine years of failing in U.S. soda consumption. The soda giants can't rely on existing diet version of their namesake cola as consumers are shy away from artificial sweetener they, they contain. Critics has blamed the ingredient, right or not, for every from weight gain to cancer. 
So this is a cola company. They're concerned about the health issue. They want to have a taste of sweet. They don't want the calorie. They don't want cancer. So Dasco is losing the U.S. sales at 7% a year, almost double the rate of decline of American cola sales overall. So cola, uh, Coke and Pepsi are turning research to save the cola business, which take in about two-thirds of the industry U.S. sales. If you can crack the perfect sweetener, that would be huge, said by this analysis and research of Euro Monitor International Organization. So here is uh, applied research because it tell it for urgent matter and the time. So they want to sort out the problem ASAP because the sales dropped. And also it's within the Coca-Cola industry. So they try to find out solution in terms of healthy, taste, um, no weight gain. So here is something they want to look into. And so it's specific for a uh, certain of industry in a time constraint because they don't want to lose, lose the market. And they also want to solve the problem in a short period of time. Otherwise they lose more profit. The other one is called uh, basic and fundamental research. Well, you call also, also known as a pure research example. Here is another example. Uh, it's going to take time for you to read this paragraph. So right from uh, her days as a, a clerical employee in bank, Sarah had observed that her colleague, through extreme knowledgeable about nuance and intricacy of banking, was spending very little effort to improve the efficiency and effective of the bank in the area of customer relation and service. They took on the median uh, amounts of work, availed themselves of long tea and lunch break, and seemed unmotivated in dealing with the customer and the management. They were highly knowledgeable about banking policy, practice was clear evident from their discussion as a proceed application from customers. So they find people are demo demoted and oh, sorry, demotivated and they spend more time in a social event rather than helping the customer to pursue the application. So Sarah herself was a very hard working, enjoy her work with the customer. She always used to think what is a huge waste it was for talented employee to goof off rather than to work hard and enjoy their work. When she left the bank and did a dissertation for her PhD, her topic of investigation was job involvement uh, or the ego investment of people in their jobs. So the conclusion of her investigation was the single most important contribution factor to the job involvement is the fit or match between the nature of the job and personality um, predispositions of the people engaged in performing it. For example, ch challenging job allow employees with a higher capability to get job involved and people oriented employee got job involved with service activity. Sarah then understood why the highly intelligent bank employee could not get job involved or find job satisfaction in a routine job. So they really call the use of their ability. So subsequently, when Sarah joined the internal research team of Fortune 500 company, she applied this knowledge to solve the problem, motivation, job satisfaction, job involvement, and the like in the organization. So here is a providing you some kind of pure knowledge about some people are really capable and they like their job. However, in the routine job, they don't find it's very motivated. So the job satisfaction in routines, they don't find highly skilled people get motivated to do. And so that could be, sorry, it could be a job oriented or a job involved for people oriented employee doesn't feel, you know, much of a, uh, uh, motivated to do. So which also suggestion, how can we manage routine job and how can we, you know, in the routine job, what can we also promote the people's job involvement? So that's another research when uh, Sarah is performing this. And this is another example in terms of uh, have some fundamental knowledge. Maybe it's not in the bank industry because we know routine job is everywhere. And that is kind of explain some phenomenon as about matching people's personality and into uh, in, into uh, their matching their interests of work 
if the personality can deal with ro routine, they may still enjoy it because they can perform it. So the purpose of apply and basic research, the, uh, the purpose of that is apply research is try to improve understanding specific social and organizational problems. So they try to create solution for social organizational problem and also develop finding practical to the public and the so organization stakeholders. So stakeholder could be consumer in a quota case. The stakeholder could be the board member, the company employee because they don't want to lose a job because the uh, dice code could be another account of the company. So that is kind of practical relevance to the manager in the applied research. But for the basic and fundamental research, it tries to gather information and build on existing knowledge. We know people would not enjoy doing job when they are doing routine job. So how can we make the routine job continuous? So sometimes you may change the way of doing or sometimes try to match in personality. So they try to gain a deep understanding of particular theory or phenomenon about people get bored in the routine job. That's a phenomenon. So what else can we do? So develop an understanding of fundamental principles and produce finding in significant uh, value to the society. So this is solve the problem of the organization and also solve the problem in the organization in different industry. So you can explain some phenomena and create a contribution of it. So there's another example of a basic research in uh, in 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 the uh, in the company, here's an example. The Ger uh, German BMW facility is aimed to further reducing the fleet of greenhouse gas emission and promoting electromobility innovation. So currency is a very fashion. They talk about carbon emission. They try to create some kind of uh, electromobility innovation. So this is something that currently as a, uh, 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 as a basic research in the company they are doing. Or high tech company, the Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, they start online behavior. So maybe they're using the AI or they're using the metaverse or using some kind of insight to think about how can we have a social technical force interact. So sometimes people start to talk about virtual reality and how the company can a new form of online experience. Sometimes you know, the company may think about we want to provide online service uh, for the customer who have questions. So people will hate the ro robot response, a text response because text could be limited. So sometimes they want people to get online, they can respond maybe verbally as a you know interaction. But however, the company, the, the, the staff member may not find seeing the visual, the actual face of the person is comfortable. They, they want to keep their you know identity, their privacy. They don't want to see the face because they are not like a movie star, TV star. They may using avatar to show their face and to talk to the, the customer. So that could be involved is come avatar involved. And sometimes the, com the company start to think about we're using AI so we can create a kind of a, avoid the gender or avoid some kind of a, you know preference or based on the project on the consumers find attractiveness and they can choose the AI to think who do the reporting on the news. So this is an, uh, another example about basic research, university professor in business general knowledge. So we do research. We, we understand how to impact on the marketing action, increase the productivity of the employee in service industry, evaluate alternative inventory evaluation method, change institutional structure of financial capital markets. This is simply saying all the university professor in the business world, we are from different departments. And then we all involved with a uh, uh, different area of research. So this is something uh, we we involve with so-called applied or basic research. And this is also suggestion for the manager uh, to understand the benefit of research in terms of when to using applied research and when to using or when should a company think about the use of pure research. So this is example for you. So when we are uh, in the interactive course, we are going to discuss about what managers should know about research. And we will talk about internal, external consultant and uh, uh, stakeholders or some ethical issues and how do we choose uh, internal, external consultants and when should we provide, uh, we should conduct applied or when should we conduct 
fundamental research and what should be cautious in the ethical part of uh, research conduct. So this is something we would uh, discuss further in our interactions course. So that's it for this part of uh, relevance of research and the manager part.